footage used in any of the Slasher Scotty videos, including the body count, the rankings, and the top 10 videos are entirely owned by the copyright holders. Slasher Scotty makes no claim of ownership and simply uses the footage for purposes of education, commentary, and criticism under the Fair Use Act. Another episode of the Top 10. I am your host, Slasher Scotty, and that's right, I just went welcome, like I do in my interviews. So check them out. Don't forget to do that, because I have some amazing interviews with amazing celebrity guests. Cheap plug. Sorry, not sorry. Anyways, this episode of the Top 10 is going to be great, because it is on the Top 10 Jason Voorhees Kills. That's right. The Jason Voorhees killed, which means that the kills that Mrs. Voorhees did in part one and the kills that Roy Burns did as pseudo Jason in part five will not be on this list at all. And I know there are some good kills in those films, but they're not going to be on the list because this list is all about Jason Voorhees' kills. And of course, any accidental kills in other movies where Jason, the real Jason, is actually the killer but weren't done by Jason will not be included, including things like Wayne from Part 8 shooting the crew member on the Lazarus. So that's not going to be included either, nor are any accidental kills or deaths that happen in Jason Goes to Hell the Final Friday, where Jason didn't do the kills in his own physical form, because these kills have to be by the real Jason in Jason's real body. So now that we got that out of the way, let me get into some details for you. First things first is... You want to slash that subscribe button to me because show me some love, alright? Hit that subscribe button and, you know, you know you want to. And also you want to hit that bell notification icon. Hitting that icon, well, that will simply get you updated on all the videos I post. And, of course, you know, leave a comment. If you Do you agree with my top 10 or other kills that I left out that you prefer? If that's the case... Tell me what they are in the comments and I'll respond back to you and interact. That's what I do best at this channel. And like the video if you like what you saw as well. But before we go into the top 10, I want to let you know a little bit of details, okay? And that is Golden Rules. I forgot to mention it the last couple of videos. Not going to happen this time around. Remember, I have a Golden Rule at this channel and that is these are my personal opinions. So don't kill me that I left one off that you enjoy. Don't pull a Jason Voorhees on me. You know, just tell me what they are and what your opinions are like I'm telling you what mine are. The difference is, is mine's on camera and yours will be in a comment. That's okay, I'll interact with you. I love doing it, alright? So do that please and thank you. Now, who is ready to count down the top 10 Jason Voorhees kills? I know I sure as hell am and I know you sure as hell are. So let's go and get into the top 10, alright? Here is number 10 for you. Stay tuned and I'll be back before we count the number 1 spot. Number 10 is Jeff and Sandra Dyer's double spear impalement through a bed in Friday the 13th Part 2. This death was an inventive one for the time as it was early on in the franchise. Overall, the censorship of the gore and explicitness by the MPAA has it ranked last in this top 10 list. Number 9 is Tina's defenestration from the second story window onto a parked car in Friday the 13th Part 4, The Final Chapter. This death is really cool. It's not your normal type of defenestration like Jason did with Robin in Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood. This one had him throwing her onto a parked car and blowing out all of the windows and the windshield of the car, causing a massive explosion, which was neat to see. Number 8 is Sheriff Mike Garris being folded in half like an accordion in Friday the 13th Part 6 Jason Lives. This death was a clever one and I really did enjoy how Jason folded the sheriff in half where his head literally touched his feet. And the back cracking sound was pure icing on the cake if you ask me. Number 7 is Amanda being cooked over an open fire in a sleeping bag from the 2009 reboot of Friday the 13th. We saw Jason do a sleeping bag kill in Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood, and then repeat and enhance that kill in Jason X to two holographic teenage campers. 
but we never saw Jason literally barbecue someone over an open fire while in a sleeping bag until he did it inventively to Amanda back in 2009. And adding insult to injury, her own boyfriend had to watch while he was trapped in a bear trap. This was one creative and brutal kill for sure. Number 6 is Andy's being sliced in half while handstand walking in Friday the 13th Part 3. Andy was going to get himself and Debbie a beer and he was walking on his hands and when he left the bathroom where Debbie was showering, he turned the corner where he was sliced by Jason right in half with a machete from the groin down. His corpse was later found briefly by Debbie as Andy's blood was dripping on her copy of Fangoria magazine before she was also quickly dispatched of. I really did enjoy this kill and it did set the tone for Jason's murderous evil ways of creatively making murder into an art form. Number 5 is Nikki's face crush in Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Nikki just got finished having sex with Court and as Court is driving the RV, Jason jumps Nikki and drags her into the RV's bathroom where he crushes her face into the RV's bathroom wall, creating an imprint of her face in the wall itself. This was an amazing kill and was also a kill that didn't need gore to be effective. Number 4 is Trey's multiple stabbings and then being folded like an accordion in a bed in Freddy vs. Jason. Freddy vs. Jason mostly has deaths done by Jason himself and not as many kills from Freddy and this is one of the many Jason kills that has happened. After Trey has sex with Gib, he is laying in bed as she showers where Jason stabs him multiple times through his body with a machete and then folds him up in the bed, crushing him by having his whole body broken in half like an accordion. A more inventive way than he did with Sheriff Mike Garris in Friday the 13th Part 6 Jason Lives, which is why this is ranked so much higher than that kill itself. Number 3 is Chewie's screwdriver through the throat and chin in the 2009 reboot of Friday the 13th. Talk about an abhorrent and graphic kill. The 2009 reboot of Friday the 13th has plenty of them. Chewie's death was no exception where he ended up getting stabbed in the throat and through the bottom of the chin by Jason with a screwdriver where blood started gurgling up into his mouth and throat, choking on his own blood in the process. An amazing, amazing kill by Jason Voorhees, the man, the myth, the murderer. Number 2 is Judy's sleeping bag kill in Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood. Judy's death is creative to say the least and is credited as Kane Hodder's favorite kill as Jason. He slices open the tent where Judy is staying as she hides in her sleeping bag. He then grabs the sleeping bag, lifts it up, and bashes it against the tree, killing her instantly. Pure perfection. Booyaka, we just counted nine of the Jason Voorhees kills and weren't they pretty neat and pretty clever, pretty creative? I think so myself. But there is one more that beats them all. That is the best, and I'm sure you probably know what it is, but we're about to check it out. But before we do, we're going to check out some kills that weren't as strong, weren't as creative, weren't as inventive, weren't as clever than, you know, the ones that made the list. And that means I'm talking about the honorable mentions. So let's check out the honorable mentions without my voice over it. We're going to show you some clips of the deaths themselves. And then after that, we will do the number one spot. And then I'll see you back here where we go over some more details where we, you know, talk about the channel a little bit and talk about the kills. So I'll see you back after we count down the last spot on this list. Take your best shot. Nuts. 
Shut up, Melissa. I don't believe you. You people give me the creeps. Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm going back to bed. You want to come? Look, Melissa, just stay here with us. It's not my style. Don't go out there! Fuck you. No, no, fuck you both! Number one is Adrian Thomas's liquid nitrogen kill in Jason X. It's no surprise that Adrian's death in Jason X is number one on this list. Jason X isn't loved or even liked by many people, but one thing everyone loved and took away from this film was the death by liquid nitrogen. Jason grabs Adrian, and as she struggled, he put her face in a tub of liquid nitrogen. Her face immediately gets frozen, and then he bashes her face onto a countertop where her face breaks literally like ice. Beautiful kill, amazing special effects, and a perfect and creative death. It was brilliantly done. Wow, we just counted down the top 10 Jason Voorhees kills. But before we go into any more information, I, while you were watching those kills and listening to me yap about them, I was enjoying some Ray's energy while you were watching all that. I mean, I love Ray's energy, and I want you to love it as well. So why not get your own, you know, 12 pack of Ray's energy, right? It's sugar, it's uh, zero sugar in it, and of course. You can get it 15% off of your order by using the coupon code Slasher Scotty. So that's right, put Slasher Scotty at checkout and you can get a 12 pack 15% off as well as all, you know, 15% off of other products that are by Rep Sports, including t shirts. So I think that's a good idea. This is some good stuff, right? I mean, I've been enjoying it, it's almost gone. So I thank you all for, um, for you know, you know, you know, appreciating me in this channel okay so now before we get into it i'm going to put this down a little bit because i have something that i don't want to spill the remainder of that because that's going to be for later and you know what that is that's right i have to do my gesture that's right you want to show me some love don't you don't you don't you that's right slap that subscribe button and show me some love and of course you know hit the bell notification icon that was me cool um, hit the bell notification icon again. Oh, cool! To get updated on new video content, all right? Because you know you wanna, and I'll, every time you hit that icon, I will be posting some. Um, I'll be, you know, posting my videos, and you'll get updated on them. Of course, like the video and leave a comment. Discuss with me what your top ten kills were. But again, I thank you all. So so much for coming back to another top 10 video and i will be back next time on the top 10 where i will be discussing <laughs> i think i'm gonna tell you tune in to find out what that co what that topic is about but until then i'm your host slasher scotty be good people